Hello, my name is Marcia Troop. I'm the chair of the Christian Education Ministry Team, and I work with the music and the missions team and also teach class. So today I'd like to bring you a devotional that was in our daily bread in the spring. We were thinking about doing the study book on a Christian view of hospitality, expecting surprises by Michelle Hirschberger. And I saved this because there were two different devotionals in this booklet that lent itself to hospitality. We've just finished the study of the book that we started uh, early in September. And this particular devotional from Our Daily Bread is called Refreshed at Simon's House. And it's by Arthur Jackson. I would subtitle this lesson as Living Like Jesus. So here's the story Arthur tells us. My trip to Simon's house was unforgettable. Under the cover of a starlight sky in Kenya, we made our way to his modest home for dinner. The dirt floor and the lantern light reflected Simon's limited means. What was on the menu, I don't recall. But what I can't forget was Simon's joy that we were his guests. His gracious hospitality was Jesus-like, selfless, life-touching, and refreshing. In uh, Paul's first letter to Corinthians, in his final chapter, he is uh, giving hellos and comments to different people. So in chapter 16, verses 15 to 18, in the New International Version, it reads like this. You know that the household of Stephanus were the first convents in Achaia, and they have devoted themselves to the service of the Lord's people. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to submit to such people and to everyone who joins in the work and labors at it. I was glad when Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus arrived because they have supplied what was lacking from you. For they refreshed my spirit and yours also. Such men deserve recognition. And then I thought, well, let's look this up in the message, see how it reads differently. So here's the message version. Would you do me a favor, friends, and give special recognition to the family of Stephanus? You know, they were among the first converts in Greece, and they've put themselves out, serving Christians ever since then. I want you to honor and look up to people like that, companions and workers who show us how to do it, giving us something to aspire to. I want you to know how delighted I am to have Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus here with me. They partially make up for your absence. They've refreshed me by keeping me in touch with you. Be proud that you have people like this among you. Arthur Jackson reminds us with this scripture that Paul mentioned this family of Stephanus who had a reputation for their caregiving. They devoted themselves to the service of the Lord's people, from verse 15. While their service likely included tangible things, which we figure out from verse 17, the impact was such that Paul wrote, They refreshed my spirit and yours also. When we have opportunities to share with others, we rightly give attention to matters of food, setting, and other things that are fitting for the occasions. But we sometimes forget that although the what and the where matter, they're not the most important things. Memorable meals are great and pleasant settings have their place, but the food is limited in their capacity to fully nourish and encourage. True refreshment flows from God. Let me say that again. True refreshment flows from God and is the matter of the heart. It reaches the hearts of others and it continues to nourish long after the meal is over. So the questions listed at the bottom of this devotional are, what occasions stand out where you were memorably refreshed by the hospitality or welcome of others? Can you change the way you serve others to make other such occasions more spiritually meaningful? And I would suggest that this is not just for at home. Perhaps how we greet and accept one another. Do we refresh them spiritually? Do we listen to them? Are we so glad to hear them speak and share with us? These are also means of refreshing spirits, whether it's in our homes, in our church, or greeting them on the sidewalk somewhere. Prayer that goes with this that Arthur Jackson wrote, Father, forgive me for the times I've made welcoming others more about me than those I seek to serve. 
help me to extend myself in ways that truly refresh others. So there we are, trying to live like Jesus. And that's what hospitality really is all about. Thank you, and we'll see you another time.